Okay, so I think I found some time to record some arena, and here it is. I already did my arena run this week, and I'll probably not do my arena runs, like my proper ones, on video because I just need the time to think, and I think, well, I, if I spend too long on video, it might, on the video, it might get uh, a bit boring, so I'm just going to um, be doing five, five runs, regardless of whether or not I win or lose. Um, so speaking of my score, I've scored high enough to make it into the next tier. There's three days left, so I doubt I'll drop. Um, I'm definitely staying for sure, because I don't see myself uh, dropping like 4,000 uh, spots. Anyways, let's look at my team. So basically generic high scoring set with dual spurs. Dual spurs and wind sweep for those pesky armor units. Generic build with dual spurs. And then basically just a basic gale force set on legendary Ephraim. Anyways, that's my team. First match. Let's go. Oh my lord. Serta first match, 742. I can't kill this thing. 53 attack. Oh my. Oh my. 50 attack. I think I can only barely take out the Mur and the Idun. So, who has armor march? None, none of them have armor march. Great. They'll be great. So they'll be together. Honestly, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. Um, I don't think I can give Ephraim many kills, if I'm being honest. Most of them have Bolt Fighter, right? Let's check. Maybe I can pick up Idun off the top. So, if I rally, if I rally and stick next to Ephraim, Mur shouldn't be able to double, and then Ephraim doubles. So Ephraim should be able to take out Mur and Idun fine. Legendary Tiki is a different story because she has Bolt Fighter and she has Steady Stance. That is. That is not good. Okay, so he does fine against Idun. I might want to just keep him up here. Does she does she have buffs? Should have taken <laughs> should have taken her out when I had the chance. Okay, so she has vengeful fire. If I do a rally, do a rally, 25. Okay, yep, that should be fine. Three? Ooh. That's fine. So I should be able to Gale Force this mirror as well. That's one down. And then I should be able to take out this mirror. Or not. Or or not. So she gets the rally speed and defense, so she gets 33 speed. So she has special fight at 56. 56? That's... Hmm... What if... So if she has... So I can give him plus 9, so that's 46. That should... <sighs> First match, I'm already struggling against plus 10 dragons. Why is this happening? <laughs> Well, okay, let's consider my options and think this through. So, obviously, I'm not going to be able to take out the Surta, so... What if I were to put Seleph up here? So, Seleph, with 60 attack, should be able to... So, 60 goes up to 72, so he should deal about 20. Uh, but that's not including Surta's Menace. So, I mean, if I round down, he should deal, like, 15 damage, so... That's... Pretty insane. Okay. okay. 
still your 20 damage. How much does Mur deal? Yeah, she is going to... 20 damage. That's not bad. I can... Okay, so if I do this... And then leave Soto in range... It should be fine. So I'm gonna rally Ephraim. Rally Ephraim. So Mur doesn't double anymore. Do I give self the attack? Or does Ephraim need the attack? Does he need the... What is it? Plus 7? Yeah, plus 7 and 3 res. So plus 7, so he, get, he goes up to 70, 72. He doesn't double, so 72 with weapon triangle advantage goes up to like 86. So you deal like 20. They might be able to double in the next turn, and I think self is fine. 20 damage, nice. 5 damage, nice. Nice. Okay, so... Why does Soto have ether? Why does he have ether? She has ether too. Alright, so... What can I do? I think I can put Self here. And then Surda should be able to be... He should be taken out on the Retaliation. So, I'm gonna move Noe down one. Okay. okay. So, I'm going to Rally. Mer shouldn't be able to double. Self should be fine. Damage, 16, okay. Not gonna lie, that Soto was hella, hella dumb. Hella dumb. Alright, should be able to take this out. And then I just gotta figure out a way to take out this Tiki. Alright, so how much, how bad is it? What's the damage? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Uh, alright, maybe I should wait for her to get closer. She is probably chasing down Self. She's chasing Ephraim because he deals more damage, I believe. Alright, so what if I, what if I do this? Who is she chase? Alright. Oh, I'm an idiot. She's chasing Noe. Of course. Like, Okay. The forward one. Yes. Okay, so... 23... I just need to double, man! So she has 41. Wait, if I rally Mur... I think I'm onto something. What? How does she double? How does she double? She has 42 speed. I have 5 more defense. What's going on? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, my defense is 5 higher. I don't understand why... Why is her follow-up, like, denied? What? What? Phony shit's coming back. I am so lost right now. What is going on? I have five more defense. Why isn't this uh, not working? I think I'm just screwed here. I actually think I am just screwed because I don't think I can... Well, my plan was to... Okay, so surely if self is here, in this spot, the extra defense and res should give Mo enough defense to take on this Tiki, right? Unless there's something I'm missing. Is there something I'm missing? 16, 15. Okay, if this doesn't work, 
Yes. I'll take it. Isn't Great Flame active? How did she double? Doesn't matter either way. We got the kill. Why is this first smash so so tough? Alright, goodbye, Soto. Goodbye. See you later. Second match. Rucker. Yay, no armor units. Woo! I can be slightly mindless, I guess. I just need to. Yes! Soren is going up above. And. Damn it! Okay, so I don't think. Wait, no. She gets. Does she have. Does he have spur attack or something? Okay, so if I leave my Noe here, she should double, but not get the kill. Gonna rally defense res. Going to. Leave self heal. Should be fine. Well, that was an that was an oversight. Uh, my bad. My bad. Well, we all make mistakes. Um, I don't. Ha I don't think I have to calc anything. Ephraim doubles has a bunch of attacks. So, yeah. Goodbye, Rutger. Um, I think I'm gonna need Noe's debuff. Just wait for Effie to come. Nice. Nice. Debuffed. 28. I guess we'll just weaken her one more time. There we go. And then Ephraim should be able to take out. Yeah, that's what happens when I don't think. Um, probably should have uh, calc. No easy damage on uh, enemy phase, but oh well. Oh well. Okay then. Well, I'm sure most people. <laughs> Defense tiles too? No. I think I'm gonna have to forfeit this one, guys. I don't think I can touch this Mur. She has Spirit Breath, and on a Defense tile, I don't think I'll be able to deal enough damage. Well, sorry. Actually, uh, because she's red, I think I will. I think this Tiki will be the bane of my existence. I think Effie's fine, because most of them run Wary Fighter, so... Uh, she has all March. So maybe I can bait her out first, actually. I think the problem would be Tiki's, like... Okay. Guidance. Do I go for Mur first, or do I go for Robin? So Robin would, would just flat out die to Ephraim on, player, on my player phase, so... Um, hmm. I think I went for the wrong play. I went for the wrong play. Defense tiles were a mistake. Yes! Yes! I totally got this now. I totally planned that out. With my extensive knowledge of the, uh... The AI of this game. Okay. A bunch of rallies. Okay. Can't do that. I I guess what I would do would be this. Have fun, Noe. Carry me, please. Yes! Uh... 
Okay, but then Mera's gonna screw me over. Or will she? Not if I do this. Is he up? No, he, okay, so he doesn't outspeed. I can do this. So Mer goes in. But he has 40, 43 defense. And fuck. Okay. Um, I may have messed up. May have messed up. He may be... Uh, okay. Okay, we good. We good. We good. We good. Fuck. Alright, sorry about that. Had to make a cut because someone came into my room. Sorry, I'm just gonna take out this smoke. Get the attack smoke off. Move no down. I had rally attack, he would have been fine. In any case, not a big deal. And then should be able to take out Effie. Alright. 15, I think that's enough. Yeah, 24 damage. That should be. Yep. Alright. Speed smoke, <laughs> doesn't matter. Alright, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Ooh, Legendary Ephraim is a pretty good unit. I must say. I feel like this video is like a mix of casual and. Um, Casual and semi-serious <laughs> arena run. The first first round was like so serious. I was like, damn, look at all these units. And then the second match was just like derp. Probably should have just like kept Noe in range, and then that would have been fine. Alright. Okay, so I can take out Moth, move away. And I should be fine. And away I go. Okay, so Mur, I don't think I should be able to take out. Well, that I do is looking really, really beefy. But she only has one move, and she doesn't have armor boots, so it should be fine. All right, Mur. Gonna put Seloth in range. I don't think Legendary Ephraim is able to take out Mur, unless I find some way of getting her HP low. Uh, which is probably letting her initiate on Seloth here. Yep. Six. So. Actually, Mur gives enough of a bonus. So I think this is an. Kidding me? Are you kidding me? Right, what about? Okay, so no, we can do this. No problem. Okay, so I do should be fine. So I just have to pick off this Noe. I'm thinking player phase with Mur. She doesn't double. Yeah, it should be fine. So for Idun, I might need Spurs and the Rally to do it. Yeah. So he deals too much damage. Are they just gonna rally each other? Double rally? 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 Okay, so it looks like I'm gonna have to make a move here on either of them. What if I rally Ephraim? Is that enough? Okay, that's enough. 15. I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna need to spur Ephraim's res to be able to take the hit then. 
she deals 15. Alright. So Gale pulls out. Pax mag. Okay. So now I just need to position everybody for the Spurs. No way. Does he not double? Oh. That's so sad. Anyways, this works out too. There we go. Bonus kill! I think we have one more map. Man. <laughs> Uh, it really feels like that first match went on forever, and then these last three maps went by really quickly. Okay, so last one. Can we get a Deathless Arena run? It looks like we can. Uh, let's see, if I, if I were to bait Lucina, she doesn't have any... Alright, this should be fine, I think. Actually, it'll be a bit tough. Hmm, I feel like I messed up. I feel like I messed up big. Okay, so... Because I kind of just went eh and let the uh, Lucina just uh, have her way with this Ephraim, I might need to just go back to <laughs> relying on Mur. So Mur should be able to kill these two pretty easily. I can take out this power and then back away. Man, this this uh this should have been so easy, but it wasn't. Um, so I think my play is to run away and have these two suicide on Mo, who I will not rally because someone has panic ploy. Someone had panic ploy, and I guess I should have rallied. Ooh, my bad. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Okay. Alright, so only really made like two big mistakes this run. Let's try these attack as well. Oh, one shot. That's what I like to see. Alright, that's, uh, that's gonna be my uh, arena run. Got a decent amount of bonus skills too. Um, I think my highest. The high score I could have fished for is like what? I got a 744 first round. I think the high score I've ever seen is uh, 746, which if I fished for would definitely be enough for me to stay in tier 21, but it's gonna take me like a ton of crests. I don't think I'd be able to fish for it effectively and maintain a high number of crests. Well, I mean, I do have like 300 crests, but I feel like I don't want to. Uh, I guess this is like, I, I could do it, but if I do it every week, I feel like I'd be down like 50 crusts every week just fishing for uh, 746, so normally I just uh, settle with 738 plus, uh, 738 to 744 is probably like the most common. Anyways, this is our final score, and it's only 15 away from my try hard arena run, so feel like I did pretty well. First match was full try hard and then everything after that was uh, pretty lazy. Except maybe like the third match but I think it went well. Yeah, um, I, uh, you can you can kind of like replicate my team. Just replace Mur with like an armor and ignore the fact that you can't ignore terrain with the armor unit. Uh, so I think if you replace Mur with, what, Sheena, then you can have, like, pretty much a one-to-one -one replication of my team. And you can run 
a hygoida or something else to help with your uh, run. So Mer didn't really do too much, I don't think, except for taking on legendary legendary Tiki because look, I'm gonna be honest, legendary Tiki is like the bane of my arena runs because she's so fast. Most people run either special fighter or bold fighter. If they run uh, bold fighter is probably more of a problem for me uh, because special fighters she I, I can usually like buff my bonus unit to avoid doubles. So whereas like bold fighter is just I get doubled on the enemy player phase and then my bonus unit just gets wrecked because the specials charge up pretty fast. Um, anyways, uh, I'll probably do this again some other time. Uh, it was it was kind of fun. I might um, I might try hard or or whatever. Um, by the way, I am I made it into tier twenty AR no air. It was it wasn't bad. I pretty much had a near perfect offense and basically only lost like 60 lift so I think everybody has the potential to be able to get to AR tier 20. Um, small segment over this will be the end of the video um, goodbye